the RK96 is Royal Kludge's new 96 key mechanical keyboard that offers things that most keyboards at this price point don't offer, such as a volume wheel, a built-in sound dampener, a free magnetic wrist rest, downstream USB ports, wired Bluetooth and wireless radio frequency connection modes, etc. They sent this over to get my honest review, so everything I'm saying here are my own unfiltered thoughts based on my experience with this keyboard, and they don't get to see this video before I upload it. So, here's my review. Royal Clutch is known for giving more for less, and the RK96 fits right in. In the box, you get the keyboard itself, a magnetic wrist rest, a USB-C to USB-A cable of the same color as your keyboard, a 2-in-1 switch and keycap cooler, and 4 extra switches. You can pick between black or white, RGB or non-RGB lighting, and brown, red or blue, cherry or RK switches. First, I want to talk about the free removable magnetic wrist rest. One of the concerns I had on my previous mechanical keyboard was the height and the fact that I had to buy another thing, a wrist rest, to make it comfortable to use. The RK96 solves that problem with a free wrist rest. The grippy foot pegs aren't huge, but the top border of this wrist rest magnetically attaches to the keyboard, so it doesn't slip and slide when in use. It's plastic, but it's not stupid light and not thin. When you hold it and try to squeeze it, you can actually feel that the plastic is quite solid and thick. I think they might have placed something inside to make it feel solid and a little heavier. You know, speaking of weight, the keyboard itself is actually pretty hefty at more or less 1kg. The build quality overall is pretty solid. The right side of the wrist rest sometimes gets slightly pulled along with my right hand, but it latches right back immediately because of the magnet so that's good, and it's actually quite satisfying. I imagine if I were using a normal non-magnetic wrist rest, it might get dragged further and thus be annoying. In terms of size, I would prefer the wrist rest to be a little deeper. My hands are average sized Asian hands, but I feel like my wrist can use some more support. However, this is highly subjective. And speaking of comfort, this has a two level feed so you can choose your desired height and angle. One thing to look out for though is if you want to replace the wrist rest, make sure to get one that is specifically for RK96 because it has this fair right here below the arrow keys. Then there's the volume wheel and a dedicated mute key. Looking at keywords online, I never really got the appeal of a volume wheel on a keyboard, but it turns out I adjust my volume a lot throughout the day and I find the volume wheel on this keyboard very handy. The wheel isn't ratchety nor does it feel premium. I would compare it to the scroll wheel of an entry level mouse, but I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just trying to describe what it feels like. Now the mute key is a speaker mute key, not a microphone mute key, just to be clear. But you can map it to a mic mute key using the Royal Kludge key mapping software or use Carabiner or Biner if you're using macOS. Next is the built-in dampener pad. This thing has a built-in dampener pad which is a go-to modification for most people because it removes that cheap, hollow sound for most keyboards. With the RK96, you don't have to pop open the keyboard, slice foam, stuff it in there, close it again because it's already there. In terms of effectiveness, I would say it's doing a good job at dampening the sound. Here's what it sounds like. I have the brown RK switches and I like the dampened sound of this more than my previous Mac keyboard which also had brown switches. Though it doesn't sound as talky and deep as custom built keyboards with special dampeners, individually lubed switches, and custom keycaps and the likes of that. Let's talk about modification later. Alright, the next thing is that it has three connection modes. Correct me if I'm wrong but I think only Royal Kludge makes keyboards that has all three connection options. It has a wired USB connection. They include a free USB-C to USB-A cable on the same color as your keyboard. It's not braided though, but you know, it's thick. For gaming specific setups, this is the way to go for maximum performance. It has a wireless 2.4GHz radio frequency USB dongle. 
If your machine doesn't have Bluetooth and you don't want to go wired, then you have this option. And finally, a Bluetooth 5.0 connection. With this, you can connect to almost any device that supports Bluetooth keyboards, and this keyboard is rated to support Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS. Oh, by the way, you can pair up to three devices for Bluetooth and quickly switch between those spare devices by pressing FNQ or FNW or FNE. Next, this keyboard is completely hot swappable. It accepts three or five pin switches and comes with a free switch and keycap cooler. It's great that this PCB accepts both three or five pin switches, so you're not limited on your switch options when the time comes that you want to change things up for this keyboard. It really opens up the possibilities of modifying this keyboard. I'm looking forward to trying out clickier switches for this keyboard, but that's a topic for another video. Another good feature is that this keyboard has two downstream USB ports for charging and data transmission. This is another thing that I think only Royal Kledge offers, correct me if I'm wrong, but note that the ports only work if you use the keyboard on wired mode, so essentially kinda like a USB hub. The keycaps are ABS keycaps and they're actually of decent quality. The keycaps have a textured matte finish which feels good and doesn't give a cheap feeling, though I think this might get shiny over time. The keys are cherry profile and has the cherry style cross connection at the bottom. Speaking of keys, the function row has some standard helpful shortcuts as seen here. Some of it are duplicates though like the mute and volume key since you have the dedicated volume wheel and mute key. Now down below there are also duplicates such as print screen, delete, home, and page up, page down. I don't know why they decided to have those keys repeated in the letter area and on the numpad area. Now the typing experience is actually satisfying. At first my typing accuracy wasn't so good but that's because I've been using the built-in keyboard on the MacBook which is very low profile. When I got used to the standard profile keys again, it was great. The small keys aren't wobbly, it doesn't stick when you miss the center, and it can be actuated even if you don't hit smack dab in the center, which is important for preventing typos. Also, the big keys such as spacebar, backspace, enter, etc. are surprisingly well stabilized. They don't stick when pressed from the sides, and they don't dance around and wobble a lot. Now, this has a huge 3750 mAh battery, which roughly translates to 7-9 to nine days of battery life at full backlight brightness. Speaking of battery, this has a dedicated LED light to indicate the battery level. Now, for modification, there is a saying that Royal Clutch keyboards are kind of meant to be a canvas, a starting point for your keyboard build instead of it being the end of the story. The RK96 fits right in. If you want to add personality to your keyboard, just get a set of new keycaps with the profile you want and pop it on. For this keyboard, I'll probably try XDA profile keycaps, which I'll make a video about soon. Then, if you want to change the typing experience or sound, buy a set of different switches, pop the old one out, in with the new, and ta-da, almost like a completely new keyboard. No more soldering, as easy as that thanks to it being hot swappable. I'll probably buy a set of blue or red cherry switches soon, because I've only used brown so far. As for backlight, it is available in RGB or non-RGB options. The one I got here is the non-RGB version, which I prefer. The backlight on the non-RGB keyboard is blue. I would have preferred it to be white. These are the different backlight modes for the non-RGB RK96. Note that the RGB might have more light patterns or light combinations as they usually do. In case you're wondering what this speed up or speed down keys are on the arrow keys, they simply adjust the speed of the light effects when they're not in steady mode, like in strobe or wave effects. Overall, for the price, I think the RK96 is a compelling option. The build quality is great, the plastics feel good, it's heavy, the volume wheel is really handy, the typing experience is good, the sound is decent thanks to the built-in sound dampener, giving the keyboard a slightly deep and dampened sound, and the magnetically attached wrist rest is a lifesaver and a great value add and all the other stuff that RK has made available for this keyboard. And yeah, that wraps up my thoughts about the Royal Clutch RK96 keyboard. Let me know your thoughts about this by commenting below. If this was helpful, hit the like button so others can find this video. If you loved it, subscribe for more, and you can also follow me on Instagram. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.